Now, 27 storm track weather with meteorologist Max Saparis. That's certainly some very exciting news for us. Uh, something else still exciting is that we have a dry weather trend as we enter into the next couple of days. That changes for the weekend, though. So open up the windows. It's a similar trend to yesterday, just not as bright, uh, but certainly still mild. And then Saturday through the weekend, likely having to shut those windows as we'll be dodging some showers and storms developing our way. As for right now, it's a mild setup in Montello at 64 degrees with some sunshine, so you're a little warmer than other folks. You're actually tied with Janesville at 64. Sunshine in Watertown at 66, 65 in Juneau, 61 Madison, 62 in Middleton, 60 Reedsburg, 57 out in Mineral Point, 58 in Prairie du Chien. So you get the idea, if you have clouds, you're a few degrees cooler than the rest of the area with the wind off of Lake Michigan out of the east southeast at around 5 to 15 miles per hour. So there are those clouds over the last four hours that have really been favoring our central and western sections. You see along and east of I-39, it's a little bit brighter, and I think these clouds are going to build a little farther west. So I think we see a little bit of clearing entering towards midday, but we're going to call for more clouds than sun overall. And here's why. We're in between two weather systems. This one swirling over the Ohio River Valley brought us rain last weekend, still impacting uh, our friends out towards Ohio and the Appalachian Mountains. But I am monitoring our next system developing over the central plains and that's throwing some more clouds our direction as well. So in between two systems, you're just not going to be as bright as you would be otherwise. So we'll call for mostly cloudy skies, maybe a touch of sunshine this afternoon, highs around 70. Tomorrow, a similar trend with lots of sunshine. And on Saturday, that's when scattered showers and storms return and will be a little warmer in the mid 70s with a touch more humidity. Isolated shower and storm chances on Sunday should be the warmest of the year, getting to the low 80s for the first time this season. And a similar trend on Monday, a few more storms develop, maybe a degree or two cooler, but still a warm pattern ahead uh, with an active weather one also returning. High pressure losing its grip, so cl clouds are heading our way. Partly sunny later in the afternoon, if we're lucky. And then we'll have more clouds to, than sun tomorrow. I don't agree with this depiction of rainfall. I think the rain holds off until Saturday. That's when the system is a little bit closer to our region. That could cause for more rain, and maybe even a few rumbles of thunder. That's system number one. Isolated in nature on the back side of that, but we have another boundary that moves into the upper Midwest that'll cause for, yes, more storm coverage heading towards Memorial Day and even Tuesday it looks a little wet too with some pop up showers and storms as well. So uh, hold on. We do have a little active weather to go and we'll pick up around at three quarters of an inch to an inch of rainfall uh, through the holiday weekend. So not all at once, but still periods of wet weather look likely here as we enter into our uh, extended period off. 70 degrees today, mostly cloudy and mild. 54 tonight and then tomorrow we'll get to the low 70s once again. Seven day forecast, mid 70s Saturday with scattered showers and storms developing. Notice I have rain icons every day starting Saturday. It doesn't mean it's going to be consistently raining, but it does mean that we do have daily rain chances. So if you have those outdoor plans for the holiday weekend, yeah. Caroline, might just have to make a backup plan just in case, but of course not a washout. No. At this point, Saturday looks like uh, the wettest of the extended outlook. Yeah, but good to know about it in advance. Getting more active as we get into the weekend, yes. Max, thank you. Mm -hmm.